Hello, and welcome to this episode of Code Evolution. Today we're going to talk about module resolution, which has been a pain point for a lot of people when they're first starting out with TypeScript and say they you know, immediately dive into node development. It's a bit frustrating because you have to learn this new syntax, as well as it hasn't really been fully fleshed out yet. We're kind of waiting for 2.0 to come down the pipe and you know basically solve everybody's problems. Probably not going to happen that way, but it's definitely there is a point where before 2.0, some of these type slash module resolution issues are, are still present. So uh, right now what you're looking at is the handbook for TypeScript. So if you're looking for this information, search in Google for TypeScript handbook and it should come up and you'll if you want to look for module resolution that's one of the actual um, sections that's in the handbook I don't want to just sit here and read this to you you should definitely read it yourself I want to take you directly into some code and show basically in a more visual way how this all works okay so what we've got here is a setup to demonstrate basic class inheritance basic class compilation, things that are somewhat relative to importing and exporting. And we're starting at the simplest level of just having a name, which includes a first and last name here. And what we're showing in this particular case is an example if we're just transpiling from TypeScript to ES6. And you can see here, they're virtually the same. Uh, there's a little bit more syntactic sugar going on here with uh, name, which is nice. But basically, you've got a class and you've got a class. Now, if we were going to show the basic, if I was to change this to ES5, you would see something a little bit different. Uh, and you'll see it kind of try to break it into a uh, general kind of breakdown, including the fact that I gave it an export that shows that now it's actually trying to treat it as if it's a module. And by default at this point, uh, it's actually treating it as common JS. So let's go back to our ES6 syntax. And we're going to go ahead and check out some other classes. So what we have here is a TypeScript file on the left and the resultant ES6 JavaScript on the right. And what you can see is you've got a couple classes. We have an animal and we have a person. And, you know, the animal is just declaring the species in this case. Uh, and then we're consuming a, that name class that we showed you earlier. And you can see here is the syntax, import name from name. And, you know, this is, this is definitely doing what you expect. And we can kind of look here and you can see there it is again. Uh, and name is just being grabbed explicitly from that export. But you can do things with modules now today that are really interesting. Like, not only can you export the person, you can export some other class. I could come down here and say export. Uh, function hello or you know, hello world okay console.log okay and then this function would also be exported as you can see here pretty straightforward and it's something that would be accessible externally to anyone consuming this module you know for your project or someone else but where it starts to get interesting is that there's this feature for exporting default. Now, I don't want to go into what, what was going on before. We used to use export equals and then the thing that you're exporting. And if it was only that one thing, then everything was happy. But now you have this varying degrees of possibilities ranging from you can export all the different pieces of the module and then have a default one, which then later on when you go to consume it, uh, it's very easy to just, you don't, basically, if I show you, the easiest way to do this is we can come in here. Okay, so now we've said that this particular module for name is exporting uh, name as default. And then when we go in here, all that's really allowing us to do is say, hey, I'm using name and it's the only thing in there. Or it's the only, it's, it's the default thing. So go ahead and figure it out. And this is kind of nice, you know, depending on how you like to consume things. Personally, I've been sticking with this straightforward uh, braces syntax because I know more explicitly what I'm getting into. So that's kind of the approach there. So again, we've, we're addressing import. And then if we go look, we have export. 
right? So we're exporting a class of which we can then import later. We can use that class here. And although you can see that I'm not actually importing it here, this is the interesting part, and that has to do with because uh, imports are smart and so is TypeScript. So if I really, really wanted to trigger an import for the name, I actually have to use it. So I have to say something like uh, if not name, then name equals new name. Okay. And we probably should put this down. Okay. And so the resultant ES6 is like, oh, hey, oh, you need that then. Okay. So we're going to import that as well. So what would this look like if we were using ES5 or more specifically CommonJS with ES5? So we just change our target to ES5. Compilation takes a little second, and there we go. So as you can see, this is a lot cleaner to read than this is, than this is, but it's still doing the same thing. For example, exporting hello world, exports hello world is here. Exporting as animal is here, okay? Um, if I had an internal function that, let's say, uh, my internal function, and it said, instead it said alert pi, okay? That internal function uh, does not get exported. It just lives in the module. So I could put this in here, okay? And everything would work just fine, right? But you can see this is so much cleaner than this is. And again, we're getting this module syntax that's very, uh, it's, it's finally really standardized and it's easy to read and understand, but people get confused because the confusion comes from actually using the require keyword. So you're not limited to, say, var, um, maybe you have some sort of like non TypeScript or non ES6 module that says my thing, you know, equals, and then we can go require, let's say, uh, I'm trying to think of something, let's say assert, which is an actual thing. If this is, although not working at the moment, this is how you would be typically doing things uh, in the past. But that's not the way of now. That's not the way of 2016. You need to do it this way. So the final step is, let's go ahead, put, go back to ES6, kind of show the differences here and how modules work. And then we're gonna show you what the employee looks like. Okay, so here is employee. Uh, it's extending from person. You can see that by because it's extending from person, it has to import it. You can see the result here that in ES6, it continues to do the same import and extends person. Uh, and you know, there isn't much difference here from ES or from TypeScript to ES6. It's virtually the same. The difference is, is that you've declared, and this is an important distinction, declaring ID doesn't do anything for ES6 because ES6 doesn't care but it's important in TypeScript because now you can use the typings that are based on an ID if that's gonna work. For example, so if we go down here and we go var em equals new employee, we automatically get this nice em.id and you can see it already shows up for you because TypeScript and the compiler and in this case also WebStorm are saying, yeah, you've got this ID and then you know I could try to set it to hello and I'm getting an error because of types, right? Awesome. Whereas you can see, you know, ES6 really doesn't care. Now, what is this gonna look like in ES5? There you go, it looks like a lot. Mainly, uh, again, you're gonna keep seeing this extends stuff uh, up in here. Uh, you can ignore it for all intents and purposes. It's just how TypeScript is uh, implementing the extends for ES5. And you can see, you know, again, exports employees. So this is the standard module implementation for ES5 slash you know, common JS. So the point I'm really trying to bring here is really demonstrating, you know, imports and exports and showing how they work, uh, what the result is when you use them, and you know, kind of show a little bit of the differences between ES5, ES6, and TypeScript. So there's a general understanding of what's going on under the hood. Keep in mind, this stuff isn't 
very you know intuitive for everyone and I can understand that people are having frustrations. Please, if you do have any questions and you're getting frustrated or you just need some help, reach out. Uh, you know, reach out in the comments below, or you can reach out on, uh, say, like there's a Gitter chat for TypeScript. These kind of things really, really help if you're having trouble. It, it, it just takes a little bit of finessing, and then all of a sudden everything starts working, and it's very nice. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give me a like below. If you'd like to see more content like this, uh, hit subscribe, and you can also check out our Patreon page in the link in the description.